I'm Cindy Chen. I'm also known as the Saw Lady, and I'm here today to introduce my new contemporary series. It's uh, not the standard vintage handsaw. It's more of a modern technology with old school craftsmanship. And here's a sample of it, and I will show you the video of the process. The look and feel of the handles for the Contemporary series was very important to me and I wanted to make sure that it looked and felt like a real saw. So I used an antique handle as my base for the design and I customized it a little bit and I added new scroll work and a Saw Lady logo to it. After it comes off the routing table it then gets sanded and hand it over to me where I do a final sand on it. And then I use several colors of stain to give it an aged look. I decided to paint the scroll work in black and I had custom black hardware made for it. It gives it a very contemporary look, which I really like. I then buff it out on the wheel with beeswax give it a fine satiny finish. I have spent many hours converting all of my vintage saw designs over to files that can be cut by a laser CNC. It cuts the blades out of a big sheet of metal and then I get the shapes which are raw metal and and I have to sand them to take the finish off that keeps them from rusting because I want them to rust. But before I do that, I have to weld anything that needs to be welded on. If that's a fishing pole or a second layer or a fence, I do that first. And then when I'm finished with that, I wash them off with degreaser. Then I spray them with hydrogen peroxide and vinegar to form a natural rust. And you never really know what you're going to get with that, so each one is unique and random. After they're rusted, I give them a clear coat of lacquer to protect them. Then they go to the shop where the wiring's done, and the handles are put on, and everything's checked over once or twice, and it's ready to ship. So, I have about 130 new designs. Well, some of them are new, some of them are old, some of them are revised. Have a look at the website for more information. Thanks!